What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Michael Knapp Fishing. If you're new to the channel, thank you all for tuning in and welcome. If you will, go down there, hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications. We'll have a Tackle Warehouse gift card being given away from time to time. You'll have to find the uh, passcode and the, or the username and passcode down there somewhere in the uh, video. It'll be a real quick blurb and you'll have to find that and then uh, you get to buy whatever you want at Tackle Warehouse on my dime. Today's video, we're going to go over uh, lining a spinning reel and why I do it the way I do it with braided line. So let's get into it, guys. All right, guys, so I've already got my old spinning rod stripped. Uh, this is the Daiwa Regals. Most of y'all know this is my go-to spinning setup. Um, I had lost so much braid on it that it wasn't coming off the spool real quickly, so I wanted to redo it. So let's go over real quick what we're gonna be using. This is 20 pound suffix um, 832, I think is what it's called, braid. I can't remember exactly what it's called, but I use braided line. And a lot of people are, they aren't really like down on it, but like a lot of people don't really want to use braided line anymore. People are like, well, you don't get, you know, you don't have the same benefits as fluorocarbon or monofilament, yada, yada, yada. But the thing about braid is it's no stretch and it's much more sensitive. Plus you have that high visibility factor. So what we're going to do is I'm going to line this up spool it up and then we'll get into it. I'll put this in in high speed fast forward for you guys so I don't waste too much time but uh we're gonna get it on there reel up and then we'll go over it a little bit more all right I have now got all the line through the rod. Real quick, I just wanted to show you guys this of how we put the line on. So I'm gonna make a loop. And all I'm gonna do is just tie a real basic loop knot in it. Like so. Might have been a little bit on the big side, but it's okay, it won't matter. All right, so now we just have that loop right there, okay? I'm gonna trim this tag end real quick just so it's neat and not in our way. Okay, now, flip your bail open. So it's completely open, just like that. Now, we're gonna take our line. You see I've got the loop here with my two fingers. We're gonna take the main line here and we're gonna come through it just like this. And I'm gonna grab it and make a bigger loop like this. So we're able to put it over the bail, bail, whatever you call it, the spool. Put it on there just like so. Now you can only go on one of two ways and you have to figure out which way is the correct way. Put it on there, start reeling. Now that if it starts slipping like that, you put it on the wrong way. All right, if you put it on the wrong way, not a big deal. Just turn it over, flip it back around. And as you can see, it will start wrapping around there as you reel it. Now, I'm gonna put this in fast forward again for you guys. And we're just gonna go ahead and spool this up real quick. All right, so we have got it spooled up. Now here's the thing with spinning rods, as I'm sure most people do know, um, but we're still gonna talk about it. anyway, I'm gonna go and cut that off. You do not want to fit overfill this spool. With braided line, you can fill it a little bit fuller because you don't have the risk of it running off, but you don't want it all the way out to the edge. That's about an eighth of an inch that I've left on there. Uh, some people say quarter of an inch. I don't really know what it is, but this is how I like mine here with the braided line. So we're gonna go ahead and connect our leader back onto the braid. Yet again, I will put this in fast speed so you all don't have to sit here and watch it. Oh, 
Okay, now we've got our Alberto Knight, or Alberto Knot tied. Uh, if you don't know how to tie the Alberto Knot, I'll put a link up there for you guys. We did a video, uh, I'm not real sure how long ago that was. I'm starting to, all my days are starting to run together. <clears throat> but I did a video on, uh, I did a video on knots. And uh, the Alberto knot was, of course, in there because this is my connector line. I forgot about it at first. But uh, that is what I tie my braid to leader. I do run leader on there. This is 8-pound test fluorocarbon um, to 20-pound test braid. And this is, uh, this is my spinning setup that I just absolutely love. I'm trying to get that as close as I can so it'll go through the eye as well if I need it to. So there's the knot. Good, good knock, get the bugs out of here to the fluorocarbon line. Okay, so the reason why we throw braid on spinning rods, it's actually really interesting to think about because before people started doing this, you know, you had to change out your line every couple of trips because it started coiling, it started getting real, real difficult to manage. And so what braid does is braid has no memory at all. You know, you can bind it, twist it, you can do all kinds of things to it and it doesn't bother. It doesn't coil like fluorocarbon or, or mono does. So by putting on the braid backing here, for one, you don't have to make sure the line goes on the right way because there is no right way for braid. It just lays on there however I want. As I was spooling it in, this thing was just flipping all around, just doing that number there. And it didn't matter. All it was doing was put it going on there as flat as it can because it doesn't matter. It doesn't, it doesn't have any way that it goes on or off. There's no memory to it whatsoever. So the advantages of this is A, all the sensitivity in the world with this braid. The amount of sensitivity over fluorocarbon is ridiculous. You, you can't pass up on it. That's the best way to do it. Now, the second advantage is the strength of it. We have 20 pounds of strength here, so you're able to run that drag just a little bit higher, but you do have to take in consideration your fluorocarbon down here, your leader. But this fluorocarbon to braid knot, wherever it is, where is that knot? This knot here is without a doubt one of the strongest connector knots out there. In my opinion, only second to the FG knot. Not gonna get into that debate because I can't tie the FG knot, so we're not even get, get, gonna get into that debate. The third advantage to braid, the high visibility. Especially when we're running baits like the drop shot or if we're going to like say maybe Damiki rig in the winter time. If you throw a big enough leader on a Damiki, you can actually see the bite better with this braid. You're able to actually see it and feel it a little bit better with the braid, especially the high vis braid. You can see it a lot easier and it's going to make your life a lot easier in the water, especially when they're just really not biting it very well. You know, a lot of the time out on Cherokee, especially those fish will get real finicky and real pressured they don't bite it super well, but when you've got that high-vis braid on it, any color, it doesn't matter what color it is, blue, green, yellow, pink, it don't matter, you're gonna be able to see that bite before you may actually feel it. So that's the one of the big advantages over this braid as well. But the biggest advantage of all is the castability. Everybody knows braided line, you can cast it further, you get more accuracy with it. You're not dealing with the coils and whatnot. And it's just an all around smoother experience with the braided line. And I, I started running braided line three years ago after I saw um, Edwin Evers did it. And I, I couldn't believe it. I was like, man, that, that's kind of crazy to do. There are a few instances that I'll run pure fluorocarbon, but very, very few now. Nine times out of 10, I'm running braid backing to fluorocarbon leader. I use that knot to connect it with at all times, and it is the easiest way to be able to make everything so much smoother for you and not dread breaking out the, the fairy wand, as we like to call it. Guys, if y'all like these videos, please do me a huge favor. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, leave me a comment down in the comment section below. Let me know where you're watching from. Turn on those notifications. You're gonna be able to have a chance to win a Tackle Warehouse gift card. You never will know when we're gonna post those. Also guys, we're new to TikTok. We're trying to get some videos out there on TikTok. If you're on TikTok, go follow Michael Knapp Fishing. Instagram, Michael Knapp Fishing. Facebook, Michael Knapp Fishing. Twitter is 
stupid. I don't really use Twitter. I have an account. I think it's Nap Fishing. But either way, go follow me on TikTok, YouTube. Oh, YouTube in here. TikTok, Instagram, Facebook. Go follow me on all those platforms if you want to keep up with my stuff. And uh, if you ever see me out on Douglas, Cherokee, South Tulsa, Watauga, Chickamauga, Wasp Bar, anywhere you see me in my bright blue falcon, come say hey, come talk to us, and we'll talk a little bit of fishing. Take care, guys.